Hi, it's Roro. This is Roro Rants. It is so windy out here. I'm having to hold the phone, so I hope it doesn't go flying. It went flying off the deck twice already. I think it's gonna rain. So I gotta hurry up before it rains. But I just wanted to say something. Uh, I'm still like really confused and depressed since the election, you know, not because Trump won, but I mean, I am depressed about that, but also because I don't even know if I'm following the right path in my identity of what I call myself. If my ideology is even relevant anymore as a progressive to the majority of the people in this revolution. Um, you know, I've been an independent since 9-11. I stopped trusting the Republican Party way back in the 80s with Reagan when he started all that illegal secret war shit that he was doing behind our backs. Uh, I stopped trusting the Democratic Party after Clinton, you know, not because of the personal shit. I don't care about Monica Lewinsky. I don't care about what a president does in his sex life. Um, you know, JFK was one of our best presidents and he had affairs and I don't care. You know, if, as long as it doesn't affect his job, I don't care. Um, you know, uh, nobody talked about JFK. I miss those days. You know, that was back when the president was respected. And, you know, when we respected the presidency and after the election, we all put partisan politics aside and came together as Americans, as one nation and rallied around the president no matter what party he was belonged to. But, you know, I don't care about personality. What I care about, what I want to know is policy. What are they going to do for me? What are they going to do for the country? poor people um, to make our lives better. That's what I care about. Uh, I don't even care about corruption because they're all fucking corrupt. All politicians are corrupt. Maybe Bernie Sanders is the one that isn't. But other than him, you can find, if you look at any one of them, you're going to find corruption. Um, and, and Bush and Cheney, oh my God, they're way worse. Most Republicans are way worse. You find all the child molesters and the gays and stuff, there's always usually a Republican, except for Anthony Weiner. But Bush and Cheney, I mean, they are war criminals. They hid the fact that the Saudis were behind 9-11, that they funded 9-11, and they started the illegal wars and hid it from us for 15 years and they're responsible for the death of the 4,000 soldiers, as far as I'm concerned. The worst corruption. That did affect us. But anyway, um, back to, you know, what am a pro what is a progressive? Am I progressive? You know, I'm like really confused. Um, you know, and I've seen some videos floating around about Keith Ellison, you know, and, you know, there's some people that are like all the way to the left, like Ben Dixon was saying, you're purifying yourselves into oblivion. You know, anybody that endorsed Clinton, they are calling him a shill. Even Bernie Sanders. Some people are even against Bernie Sanders now, saying he's not progressive enough. Um, you know, you got to draw the line somewhere. If you disregard everyone, there's not going to be anyone left. Nobody's perfect. Like, even Tim Black was made a video about that that I posted about. You know, Keith Ellison is a lot better than Howard Dean, a lot better. You gotta quit this lesser of two evil stuff because you're always gonna end up with the more evil. If you, if you don't take Keith Ellison, you're gonna end up with Howard Dean. Keith Ellison endorsed Bernie Sanders. He put his career on the line to endorse Bernie Sanders. He is, Keith Ellison is a good choice. Um, yeah, you could think of many other people you would want, but they aren't running. Keith Ellison is the one who's running. It's Keith Ellison and Howard Dean. Those are the only two choices we have. Anyway, um, you know, some of the stuff that I've been reading on social media is like, I'm questioning myself. Like, what to call myself? I've been like depressed. I'm, that's why I'm not even making videos. Look at me, I look a mess. I got the same t-shirt on, my hair's a mess. I'm like, I'm starting to think, am I too old school? Like maybe the term progressive has changed, you know? Cause like from 9-11 to like 2011, with the Occupy movement, progressive meant further left than Democrat. You know, we were the ones that we supported Bernie Sanders in 2011, you know, the Occupy movement. We were protesting the Democrats because they weren't left enough. They were too center. And, you know, our heroes were, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Robert Reich, Michael Moore, Rachel Maddow. I don't know if I'm leaving anybody out, but 
These were our progressive heroes. Now we have people calling themselves progressive and voted for Trump. Now I'm talking about the people on social media, people in my Facebook groups, the Bernie or Bus group, you know, some other groups. And they, I'm trying to get them to, I was trying to get them to vote for Jill and they're like, no, we're voting for Trump. And I'm like, how can you call yourself progressive and you're voting for Trump? Did the, did, and then other people, you know, I'm like, and then other people are telling me, like, these are people who are leaders of our revolution say, don't use the terms right or left anymore. You know, let's not, you know, exclude people because of those terms. And I'm thinking, well, that's a good idea. Then we include everybody. So does progressive just mean anti-establishment now? Is that basically what it means? Because Trump was anti-establishment. He's more anti-establishment than Hillary. It used to be that anti-establishment people on the left were, oh my God, the wind is coming, <laughs> I got to hurry up. Anti-establishment people on the left were progressive and anti-establishment people on the right were the Tea Party or populist movement. And now this growing number of progressives supporting Trump, now I don't know why, you know, like the people on my Bernie Facebook board and stuff, I thought they were just wrong. I'm like, no, you're not progressive if you're voting for Trump, he's Republican. But now I'm thinking, so many people are disagreeing with me and smart people that I'm like, okay, I must be the one that's wrong. But I'm still confused because, you know, you have to stand for some policies. You can't just say, I'm anti-establishment and leave it at that. If you want to burn down the government, the establishment, you got to replace it with something. And what are you going to replace it with? If you're going to replace it with something that's worse, that's not progress. And, you know, like I said before in my Trump and Hillary are both ass fuckers video. I, I went to Trump's website. I read everything. I read all of his positions and I did not agree with any of them. They were against all of my values, all of his positions. I was against them. Now, I don't know, maybe he was saying different things in his rallies, but on his website where he listed what he wanted to do, no, they were exact opposite of what Bernie wanted to do and what this revolution stands for. And then also the protesters after the election that were protesting against Trump's policies. You know, all the signs I read were not, we want Hillary or anything. They were against Trump's policies, against racism, against the deportation of Mexicans, against banning Muslims. They were all, you know, for saving the planet. You know, the Tuesday, uh, or Wednesday, the climate day the thing they had, that was planned way before the election, you know? And, and now if they were, doing anything illegal, like blocking traffic, places they weren't supposed to be protesting or whatever, I can understand being angry with them at that. But peaceful protesting, Trump's policies, I, I would support that. And then people were telling me, no, we shouldn't be protesting, he hasn't done anything, give him a chance. And I'm like, well, in my opinion, he has. He's got those policies on the website that I disagree with. So I don't know, I'm like, am I wrong? Maybe I'm just fucking crazy, I'm an old lady, I'm old school, maybe I'm crazy. And then he appointed Steve Bannon. You know, it's like that South Park thing. Let's give Trump a chance. Oh, he, report, he appointed a uh, white supremacist. So, I don't know, but if you want more opinion on that, I did a, a video about the protesters, Stop the Republican Conspiracy about theory about the protesters. Uh, that I have the link down there. Also, the Trump and Hillary both asked much. My links I put in the show more, but you know, that conspiracy about Soros funding the protesters. Where's my check? I want my check, Ben Dixon was saying, that was funny. Anyway, um, I think we need some labels to describe policies we agree with. I mean, I, I'm all for, you know, if somebody doesn't have a label and they're just independent, but we have to have some policies. When you meet someone and they ask you, what are your political beliefs? If you identify with most of a certain group's policies, you want to express that. You can't just list all the policies and say how you feel about each one. Oh my God, it's a fucking hurricane. Holy shit. All my shit just went flying. My water, my, hold on a minute. Oh shit, my coca tea just spilled over. Well, not too much of it. Oh my God. All right, where was I? So, you know, you might want some 
you know, label for what you are. I do anyway. I, I want to just say, hey, I'm a left progressive. I guess I have to say left progressive now because I guess there's right progressives now. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to say I'm left progressive except on gun control. I feel we need guns because uh, the shit's going crazy now. The world, world is crazy. And, you know, we might have an apocalypse. Who knows? And maybe I watch too many apocalypse movies. I don't know. Or maybe the government might get too powerful and try to turn war on its citizens or something. I gotta hold this thing down because this wind. Oh my God. So anyway, um, I should have done this in my house, but my house is so messy. I don't want you to see it. Anyway, um, so, you know, that's what I would want to say that, you know, I'm progressive, except I believe there shouldn't be very much gun control. Maybe not giving it to crazy people or people on the terrorist watch list, but, but then again, you know, what if they just say we're all crazy and we're all on the terror watch list? So you got to be careful with gun control. But other than that, I'm left on everything else. I'm a progressive, not neoliberal, progressive left, way far left. Anyway, um, so is there some new progressive conservative thing? Because I thought that was just the Tea Party. Uh, maybe there's some new progressive conservative movement out there because the Tea Party was funded by the Koch brothers and they wanted to get away from that and not uh, be racist and or something or some, I don't know. All I'm saying is I'm confused. I need opinions. I've been asking people, but I think I come across the wrong way. Maybe people thought I was calling them names and stuff. I'm not. I am sincerely confused about this. You know, I'm old school, you know, back in 2011 Occupy Movement. I knew what a progressive was back then. I don't know what the fuck's going on now. Um, I need some opinions. Um, tell me am i a progressive do i need to say left progressive because there's some new ones out there let me know watch my videos uh like and subscribe i get better get out in the house because it's either gonna storm or a hurricane or something thanks bye